I, I guess because I haven't climbed on the slate much. Quite like the desolation of it all. It's a very individual kind of rock type, really, that demands a certain kind of way of climbing. And I feel a bit like a fish out of water on it. Remember having a hard time when I first came here. But it is a rock type which you just have to get used to. You just have to climb it in a different way because of, because of the friction. You get some roots that just moves on that you just don't get anywhere else. The other thing I like about climbing on the slate is I like the fact that it looks so unclimbable. It looks totally blank. It goes through periods where you've really got to concentrate and the, and the volume gets turned up by the fact that you, you, you're moving away from the gear or that the gear's bad. A certain amount of faith that you've got to try and drum up in yourself. It's something that you, it's difficult to quite explain, but it's the, it's the way you stand on footholds. There's a certain delicacy required. And the way that the angle that you put your foot and the way you transfer your weight onto it and the length of time you have it on and the the angle that you press against the the rock kind of defines and whether that your foot's going to gain purchase on that foothold or not. Nice. Windows of perception. The hardest rock over in the world. Where well, you have to get your foot here next to your hand and hold a nail edge. Pulling on just your tip of your nail. And rock over forever and ever and ever. So you get a crimp. It's a really hard rock over. It's hard if you're short because you can't reach the holds. And it's hard if you're tall because you can't get your foot by your head. So probably it's yeah, well it's the ultimate rock over. So this is flamboyant as it's gonna get on a slab I reckon.
I like Bobby's Groove because, well, it's, it's hard really. Um, it has to be a favourite. Short and intense and really technical. It's also quite powerful for a slate route. You need to be um, thrutchy, flexible and dynamic, which is good. <laughs> the, cru the crux is amazing, it's really, really good. Getting these twin undercuts and spinning around on them and, you know, stabbing your feet on shit holds. That's really good. <laughs> oh, it's going to be tough out. Well, good. On a bare hillside in North Wales, where the ground slopes steeply down from Snowdon to the sea, Hundreds of men spend their lives digging slate out of a hole in the ground. And such a hole. It has taken generations of Welsh quarry <laughs> with precipices like these rising steeply above him. And climb he must, for the men below depend on him for their safety. A strong push and a quick pull, and down the slab crashes. Poised between heaven and earth, at every promising spot there is a man at work, everywhere battling to wrest the treasure of the slate from the grip of the unwilling rock. <laughs> that was so flipping close. <laughs> Yeah, that was one of those red points that makes up for all those times when you should have done something but you didn't. <laughs> yeah, well done. Ah. And relax. Sweet dilemma for self-satisfaction. Well, I did come through. Yeah. Tell us about Jim Ballas. What is fresh in the mind? Mmm, slippery. Oh, you're joking. And of, yeah, not part of my repertoire, that kind of climbing, really. Uh, claustrophobic, slippery, and positive, and forces you to make very strange noises. <laughs> Boy. Hmm. Well, Dr. Smith will be very happy <laughs> when I text him and say I've been completely shut down by his E56B. I've made, a, I've made an old man very happy. <laughs> Baggy hands. Oh, ground. I don't need to take any more of this. <laughs> well, there's only one way of getting better at these things, and that's to keep working on them. 
I definitely find myself attracted to routes that I think I'm going to find hard. If I look at a route and I think, oh, that looks really hard, and especially if it's got quite an easy grade, I find myself strangely attracted to it. The prospect of totally failing on a route that's got quite a low grade kind of grabs me for some reason. I wouldn't like to do a multi-pitch kind of gin palace climb. One pitch is enough, thanks very much. I like moderate sadism. <laughs> moderate, controllable sadism where you can pull the plug at any point. I'd like to become more of an all-round climber and the only way to do that is to work on your weaknesses and take the bull by the horns when you see a route that you think you're going to find really hard or it's going to involve a certain style of climbing that you're not really good at. The only way you're going to get better at it is by practising. Come on. When you got that good chalky foothold. That like what? Come on, come on. Brilliant, You going again, Rich? Mmm, quite tempted. Um. <laughs> no falls. I don't like it when there's no feet. Nothing just to chill out on. You're just dangling like a sack of spuds. Your arms. So close. Yeah, what might have been. <laughs>